for viewers. It's getting that time of the year now. The lake's cooling down a little bit. What we're going to do today, we're going to do a little bit of tight lining. And what I wanted to bring up to you is all these electronics that we have on our boats these days. Are you letting them tell you what you need to know? And we're going to be talking about lake maps. Reading the lake, the structure of the lake, the cover that's on the structure of the lake. That's what we're going to be doing this morning. So if you'll look over here at my GPS. Okay, let me zoom it out. All right, now we're fishing <clears throat> this river. The river comes down through here. Now what, uh, just let that Navionics Lake map tell you, you know, what you need to do. This is a congested area. See, coming down through here, we got a steep ledge. And I just know from past experience that when they built this lake 80 years ago, this little old hump ledge right through here, they just left the stumps and all the timber standing. And through the years, as it comes down, lake gets flooded, all the timber, it'll bank up. It'll bank up on this side right here, just coming down the river. And as you look, here's the main intersection, and it's the same depth as the river. So it's a good transition period, transition area. It's congested. You got a big, liver, you got big river ledge. You got a creek going in here. It's all the same depth. And you got the main interstate. All the fish are traveling. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be concentrating on this river ledge. Right straight down through here. Today and see if we can pick some of these crappy off. These stumps and stuff down through here. So let's go do it. And what we're fishing with. Ah, uh, well. What we're fishing with, this is my basic tight line setup. I must, I got some junk biting, I think. I got a little old 48 ounce egg sinker. There's a little split shot underneath to hold it up. And coming down, I just got a jig head number 30 seconds, number six hook with a minnow. That is the best that you can fish with when you're out looking for fish. And as far as my depth goes, as far as my depth goes, like I said, here's the hook. Uh, the uh, hook catch. That's 10 foot if I got it a foot out of the water, if I put the hook to here. And we're in 13 foot. So I'm basically just going to skim right across the top of this hump at 10 foot, 11 foot deep. And we'll see what we can do. But there's a bunch of trash. There's a bunch of trash in here. And there's some fish in here this time of the year. Whoa! Let me put this on the bed down. I generally like my fly reels, but I, I actually had them off doing something else. So I've got two spinning reels on here. But uh, that's good fish. For this time of the year and then you get hung up too i don't think we're going to catch any monsters this time of the year on this lake but that's a oh well, that's 13 ounce fish he's a bleeder but we don't want him we letting him go back maybe he'll make it
Now let me get this mess straightened back out. Okay. And I don't like when I'm using a spinning reel, I'll back up instead of pulling the drag out. When you pull the drag out, that's putting a twist in your line. And once your navionics tell you where you need to fish, combine that with your sonar, the live scope, whatever you got, and let it mark the fish for you. I think I got everything straightened back out. Now let's go fishing again. I believe we can catch these fish if I can get on them. Don't want to see this little junk. Hook up. That is nothing, just a half pound fish, but. We're just happy to be catching fish. Oh, man. I'm going to say that was a two-pounder, but I think I was hung up. Probably was. That's not. That's a crappy. That's a real winner. Oh, come on. That's a three quarters. That's a good eating fish. If you want an eating fish, I'm about to get hot now. It's chilly in the mornings, but when that sun comes up, it warms up pretty good.
but it's fun. I saw a gun there weighed two pounds. Ah. <laughs> Hook up. Nothing spectacular. He's just. He's a eating fish if you want to eat him about 10 ounces. Hook up. <laughs> Nothing to him. Y'all see that? I've got some fish coming up here. There's a stump that's got a bunch of fish. Now, I, I'm using my live scope, but everything you see, they're pitching, and I love the pitch, don't get me wrong, but this live scope is a fantastic tight lining tool. Whether you got fish on a ledge, on cover going down through here, or they're suspended out in the middle of the lake, It's actually a good sonar for that purpose. Hook up. They're all the same size. Why don't you just tangle my stuff up? You don't mind getting tangled up when you got big ones. But when you're catching junk, that's not too fun. I don't know what that is. That's a big old catfish. <laughs> and naturally, I don't have my net up here. So I'll show you. Look at that big tent. I hope you can see it down there. I'll show you what I do to things like this. I don't like to mess with them. <sighs> no sorry.
All right, let me get this mess straightened out. Hook up. He got my line all tangled up. Oh my God, have I got one on there too? Or do I? Nope. Did he come loose? Now this is why you go back to one or two rods. But it's a fun little, it's fun. You know, everybody at the tight lines love the tight line. And I knew coming up here that I probably wouldn't catch nothing fantastically big. However, in the winter time, you can catch some good fish. out in here. What a mess. Let me lay this down and get rid of these other two. That's a pretty decent one, if you wanted to eat and fish. I don't know how many fish you could catch if you were out here just fishing and fishing and just wanted to do it for about eight hours. I just don't know how many you could catch more than I want, but out of everything that you catch, by the end of the day, you'll have a nice mess of eating fish. But that is, uh, that's just not the whole reason that I wanted to uh, come up here. I just wanted to come a tight line some, and I knew this river ledge is good pretty well seven eight months out of the year these fish will be on this river ledge and that's why i wanted to come up here hook up Junker. These little ones are worse. These small crappy are worse than big fish about tangling up. They just so dead blame wild.
folks, that's probably about it today. I just wanted to give you a little short video. Uh, fishing this river, ladies, the next time you're going down the river, let your lake maps, let them talk to you a little bit so you can uh, see the lay of the lake. Now, like I said, we're fishing the structure, which is the ledges, the creeks, and all that. Then the cover on the structure, stumps, uh, logs, anything up through here, that's where the fish are hanging out. Granted, we didn't catch no big fish, but it's a pretty good morning of fishing. If I can help you, just remember, I'm Ed Duke, www.southerncrappyrods.com.